Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Henry Wildberry Show. Today we're going to be talking about Panaracer Parimoto tires. So as I promised in an earlier video where I talked about this Fit Cycles bike, I did a long-term review. I mentioned that I would be coming back at some point and discussing these tires. Well, I think today is, the, is a perfect day to do that. I am officially retiring these tires. Now I have about seven, just a little over 7,000 miles on these tires and so I thought it would be a good time to talk about my experience with these in case you might be interested in uh, trying these tires out for yourself. So what are these tires? These are a 650B by 48 millimeter wide semi-slick tire. They have a file pattern on the side and a somewhat of a knurled pattern on or knurled tread if you will on the center they're now fairly well worn so you don't see that but that is what they best way i could describe them the tire itself the manufacturer claims that these weigh 500 grams each and these are for tubes only they do not work tubeless and that is one of the reasons why these tires may actually be for you if you don't mind running tubes, these tires appear to have a little bit larger bead seat diameter, which makes them a little easier to take off the wheel if you do get a flat. These tires perform pretty well for me. As I said, I got about 7,000 miles. The front tire I still have on here. I could keep running it a little bit longer if I wanted to, but I'm gonna be switching over to the Gravel Kings that I set up a few months ago. I'll be putting those tires on these wheels and I'm putting them on these wheels because this has the generator hub. So I did get a few, I did get a few flats later on as the tire begin, began to get a little more worn out and during the rainier months. It seems like when the tires wet, I would pick up a little bit more glass from the road. I never got a flat tire riding off-road or on gravel. I didn't even get a puncture from a thorn that I remember riding off-road. I did get a thorn one time riding through some freshly cut blackberry bushes that were laying on the road. This was a paved road and I rolled through there and I did end up with a puncture from that. So here on the sidewall there is a little bit of a thread starting to show up but I didn't get any sidewall cuts at all with these tires. Um, and that looks like it might be a, a sidewall cut. It's actually not it doesn't go through the tire at all. It's just that the, the sidewalls are starting to, the sidewall starting to abrade a little bit and some of the threads are starting to show through, but <clears throat> no sidewall cuts at all in all the riding conditions, roads, gravel, all of it, not a single sidewall cut. So I count myself to be very lucky, but um, maybe it has something to do with the air pressure also. I ran the pressure in these. I, these are a very large volume tire, so I only pumped them up between 20 and 25 PSI. On occasion, I'd pump them up to 30, but normally I'd try to run them a little bit on the low end. So I will be running this Gravel King now on my bike. This will be my, my everyday tire, and uh, we'll see how many miles I get out of it. Hopefully I get as many miles as I did out of these Parimotos. I think that basically summarizes my, my review. I, I think these are good tires. I would consider buying them again if the Gravel King and the whole tubeless thing doesn't work out for me. I may consider going back to these tires. I would not hesitate buying them. So anyway, I think this is where I'm gonna end this video. I wanna thank all of you for watching. Have a nice evening.